Nvidia has officially unveiled its brand new Ampere Gaming flagship, the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti. The graphics card replaces their older Ti models and offering up to 50% faster performance than the RTX 2080 Ti and 2x the performance uplift over the 1080 Ti. Now the Nvidia GeForce RTX 3080 Ti is a graphics card that has been long overdue and much anticipated and rumored about, but well, here we are. Now we've heard about it ever since the Ampere launched last year, but never got to see the card until now. Well, the curtains have finally been lifted and we can see the hotly anticipated graphics card in action. Now, Nvidia states that the RTX 3080 Ti aims to be the fastest gaming graphics card for 4K gaming. NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3080 Ti 12GB Founders Edition graphics card will feature 10,240 CUDA cores within a total of 80 SM units. And the GPU features a clock speed of 1365MHz base and a 1665MHz boost, both of which are a bit slower than the existing GA102 GeForce RTX GPUs. As for memory, the card will feature 12GB of GDDR6X memory Unlike the 19.5 gigabits per second speeds of the RTX 3090, the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti is set to retain the same memory speed as the RTX 3080 at 19 gigabits per second. And since we're getting 12 gigabytes of memory, the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti will be using a 384-bit bus interface, which equals a total bandwidth of 912 gigabytes per second. The TGP of the card is set to be slightly higher than the RTX 3080 at 350 watts, and that's definitely needed to feed those extra cores, so Nvidia will be optimizing those clocks a bit here. Now in terms of performance, the graphics card is set to be as fast as the RTX 3090, but with half the memory and LHR technology enabled. As for compute numbers, the RTX 3080 Ti features 34 shader T-flops, 67 RT T-flops, and 273 tensor flops, which was sparsity. Now, the design of the card is very similar to that of the existing NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Founders Edition graphics cards. And with that, NVIDIA didn't go with the bulky BFG design like they did with the RTX 3090 and kept the more standard two-slot FE flow-through air cooler design. The card is powered by a single 12-pin microfit connector, and the display outputs include one HDMI 2.1 and three DisplayPort 2.0 connectors. The card will be available to buy in just a few days, starting at $1,199 US, and expect several custom models to be announced shortly by the NVIDIA board partners. Now, in addition to its flagship, the RTX 3080 Ti, NVIDIA also unveiled its brand new GeForce RTX 3070 Ti graphics card. Now, this graphics card should offer around a 20% performance boost over the RTX 3070 and feature faster performance than even the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT at times. Now, the GeForce RTX 3070 Ti is designed to be a 1440p gaming solution, and as such, it rocks the full GA104 GPU core based on Samsung's 8 nanometer process node. The GeForce RTX 3070 Ti is a bigger upgrade over its non-Ti brother than the RTX 3080 Ti, offering increased cores and faster VRAM configuration. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti will feature 6,144 CUDA cores over 48 SMs. Now, this is about a 4% more CUDA cores than the GeForce RTX 3070 and around 30% lower cores than the RTX 3080. Now, the card features a clock speed of 1580 MHz base and a 1770 MHz boost. And the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti will feature 8GB of GDDR6X memory and what's important here is the fact that it will be utilizing the higher grade G6X chips rather than the standard G6 modules featured on the existing RTX 3070 graphics cards. The GeForce RTX 3070 Ti will end up close to the 3080 with a TGP of 290 watts and considering the cores and the newer memory module, the card would retain a 256-bit bus interface and pin speeds that will be rated at 19 gigabits per second just like the 3080 and the 3080 Ti. Now the 3070 Ti is expected to launch at the start of June for an MSRP of around $599 US starting. As for design, the graphics card is rocking a slightly updated Founders Edition cooler and a standard RTX 3070 comes with a single 8-pin connector while the 3070 Ti rocks a 12-pin microfit power interface with two 8-pin connectors. And the PCB design is similar to the irregular PCB designs featured on the RTX 3080, 3080 Ti, and the 3090. And the graphics card will feature a flow-through design versus the dual fan cooler of the non-TI variant. 
Display outputs include the standard 1 HDMI 2.1 and triple DisplayPort 2.0 interfaces. And the card will be officially launching on the 10th of June. So let us know what you think about these two cards from Team Green. Do you think they're cool? Do you think they're interesting? Do you, what do you think about the prices? What do you think about the expected performance? Let us know in the comment section below and we won't have to wait too long to see where these numbers actually shake out in real games. And I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you like what you've seen here and you like getting news daily, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. And if you've missed out on news in the past and you want to catch those, check out one of these videos over here.